started. Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm Jerry Gibbons. For those of you who have not met me before, I'm glad to be here with you. I teach the Wednesday night uh, yoga class as well, which is online right now. So uh, feel free to join. Uh, Wednesdays at 5.15. So Chair Yoga, just to give a background, is was created originally for people who are chair bound. And they're just a modified exercises from the yoga tradition to help people kind of feel the effects of yoga. So what I've done is I've taken those same techniques and I've applied them to anyone who sits a lot because what they really help to do is to counterpose sitting. And the irony is that we're doing it while we're sitting. <laughs> um, but the idea is that you can implement these techniques into your day. If you're feeling a little tight in your back or your shoulders or wherever as you're going through your day, you can take a couple of breaths, a couple of moments to practice some of these techniques. And then we'll end with a beautiful meditation to help ground you into the coming weekend. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I didn't say yet, you can use whatever kind of chair you want to. I'm using my dining room chair, it does not have wheels. Um, that might be good for stability, but if the only chair you have has wheels, we'll just be careful, don't worry. So just sit comfortably. We'll just get centered first. You can lean against the back of your chair if you'd like to. And if it's comfortable for you, allow your eyes to close. And bring your awareness to your breath. Bring your awareness to the movement of your breath in your body. That might be the chest expanding and contracting. It might be the abdomen doing the same. And then become more acutely aware of the movement of your abdomen. The navel expanding forward on inhale and your navel expanding uh, contracting towards your spine on exhale. Just aware of the breath in your abdomen. Other parts of the body still might be moving, but just again, aware of the belly. All the thoughts that come into your mind, all the to do's. Just ground all of that awareness into your abdomen for just a few more rounds of breath. Good. We'll return to the breath in the belly a little bit later on, but for now, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. And gently allow your eyes to open, bring yourself back to your space. And I'll have you sit a little bit forward in your chair so that your spine can sit up tall. It's gonna to be helpful for a couple of these exercises. So just have your hands uh, resting on top of your thighs. And with your inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Take the shoulders back and open the heart toward the ceiling. With your exhale, shrug the shoulders up again. Roll forward, looking down. Inhale, open back up again. Heart lifting, shoulders back. And exhale, rounding forward once again. I'll turn profile so you can see my spine moving a little bit. Inhale, rolling the shoulders back. And exhale, rolling the shoulders forward. Now notice as I go forward this next time, I'm not folding forward. Really, it's just a rounding of the upper back. Keep going. Bringing some mobility to your spine. And opening up the chest as well. The upper spine, especially if we sit a lot, gets tight. And so by bringing some movement to 
this region of the body that can help to alleviate tension that builds up there. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, opening the heart. And exhale, rounding. Good. With your next inhale, roll the shoulders back. Open your chest toward the ceiling. Won't stay. Let's breathe. One more breath here. And then shrug the shoulders up to bring your head up, spine tall once again. And just notice sensation both in the region behind your back, the shoulder blades, and then also in the front of the chest as well, the sternum, the pectoral muscles. Just seeing what's going on there. <laughs> Good. So we're gonna do some twists now. And so what I'd like you to do is take, take your hands on top of your shoulders. And the four fingers will be in front and the thumbs will be behind, okay? And a good rule here is to try to keep your bicep parallel to the floor. Sometimes they wanna get heavy and drop down. Try to keep them up. Little wings we got here. Good, take a deep breath in, sitting up tall. With your exhale, just twist to a side. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist to the first side. And we're just going to keep going at the rate of your breath. Inhale, unwinding. Exhale, twisting. And there's some movement throughout the entire spine here. So a couple of pointers is as you twist, look behind you. The movement of the, sh the arms are helping to create the twist in the upper back, the shoulders. And then as you're exhaling especially, feel your navel pull into your body to help create a little more rotation down towards your abdomen. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Going at your own pace. Couple more times. Good. With your next exhale, twist to a side and do your best to stay there. It's okay that if you breathe, you come out of it a little bit, but keep the intention to stay on the twist. With every inhale, sit up just a little bit taller. With your exhale, twist back a little bit further. One more breath. Good, inhale to unwind carefully. And then we'll go the other way. So twisting in the opposite direction. And again, staying for a few breaths. With your inhale, think about lengthening your spine, sitting up tall. Exhale, take the back shoulder back a little bit further. Last breath. Good, then inhale, unwind, and release your arms down to your side. Already creating a lot of movement, a lot of energy, a lot of sensation in the spine. Before we do our next, uh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say before we do our next exercise, we're gonna do something, but that would be the next exercise. So two options here. We're gonna come into a forward fold and you can have your feet uh, about as wide apart as your chair or a little wider than the shoulders, or you can have your feet together, a little closer together. Basically what we'll do here is we'll hinge at the hip and we'll fold down. I tend to think that with the legs wider, this posture is a little more accessible. It's also okay to do with the legs closer together. So we're just gonna take a few breaths into this forward fold. Good. 
Go ahead, last breath. And then inhale. Go ahead and bring yourself back up to a tall spine. <sighs> what I like about this first couple of the exercises, the twist and the spinal flexes, they actually help to wake you up a little bit. They activate the cardio flexes at the front of the chest, which stimulates your nervous system. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of work for the core as well. When we sit a lot, the core starts to weaken. So this isn't too crazy. <laughs> But a um, couple of options for your hands for stability. Some of you might just relax the hands down. Some of you may want to hold on to the sides of your chair. You can decide as we get started. One thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you're pretty close to the edge of your seat because it's suspenseful. And that was an easy joke to make. <laughs> so either relaxing the hands down or holding on to the chair. Now we'll go ahead and lift your right heel and flex the foot. Kind of hard to see because my sock is black, but I'm flexing the foot, pulling the toes back toward my body, and then lifting the heel. Now, see if you can lift the heel just a little bit higher. And breathe. This is one of the ones that looks easy, but just isn't. <laughs> one thing that may happen here as you try to lift the leg is that your lower back rounds, you scrunch back, try to stay lifted in the heart. Are you breathing? Please breathe. Good, then exhale, release the leg down. All right, we're gonna do the other side. We have to. <laughs> so again, you can hold on to the chair. You can just have your hands relaxing. But go ahead and extend your left leg forward this time, pulling the toes back towards your body, extending through the heel. Just make sure that we lengthen the back of the leg. And then when you're ready, lift the heel up just a hair higher, activating the core and keep the heart lifting. So much to remember here. Breathe with it. The good news is that if you're shaking a little bit, you're doing it right. So hopefully that's validating. <laughs> good, deep breath in. And exhale, release it on down. All right. Now our legs are nice and activated. <laughs> I'd like to do a little bit more for your shoulders before we continue on something else. So just to make sure that we're doing each side as we should, take the arms out to the side if you can, and then cross your right hand over your left in front of you, and then keep crossing over and grab hold of your sh shoulders like you're giving yourself a hug. And you can give yourself a hug. Go ahead and do it. Now see how tight you can make the hug. See how far the hands can go behind you profile so you can see. Good. Now what we'll do here is we'll lift the elbows as high as you can. And breathe. And you're feeling the shoulder blades behind you widen or separate, creating some space in the upper back. Again, this region of the body gets quite tight when we sit and we hunch over. Keep lifting the elbows and keep breathing. One more breath here, lift the elbows and then exhale, release the elbows down and release the body. Feel sensation, you might have moved some things around in the shoulders that haven't been moved around in a minute. And we'll do the other side because we did right over left last time, now we have to do left over right. So taking the arms wide, take the hands forward, left over right, and then continue across. And again, work yourself into that deep, deep bear hug. As far across as you can. Now sitting up tall, lift the elbows. and breathe. Keep lifting the elbows, feeling the shoulder blades wide and behind you.
All right, deep breath in, lift the elbows. Exhale, carefully release them down. You can roll the shoulders around a little bit if you'd like to. We're in that posture a little deep. Good. Now for our next exercise, I'll have you take your feet as wide, sorry, a little bit wider than your shoulders here, okay? And you wanna make sure that the heels or the ankles are stacking underneath so that when we lean to a side, we don't collapse over, ideally. <laughs> All right, so we did this one last week. So if you were there, you will remember it. <laughs> Taking the right elbow or forearm down onto the thigh, go ahead and take your left hand onto your left hip. Take a deep breath in and feel length in your spine. Then exhale, roll your left shoulder back as if you're trying to open your chest toward the ceiling. Good. And then with your left hand, the one that's on your hip, go ahead and sweep it into the air and reach to the right. Continue to roll the top shoulder back. Reaching through the fingertips. And as we're reaching through the fingertips, think about grounding your left hip back down onto the chair. It's like you're stretching in two directions. The hip grounding down and the hand reaching out. One more breath here. And then with an inhale, go ahead and come all the way back up. Feel sensation. And let's try the other side. Go ahead and bring your left elbow or forearm down onto the thigh or knee. Put the right hand on the hip to start. Inhale, extend the spine. With your exhale, roll the right shoulder back. Good, slight rotation of the spine here. And then go ahead and lift the right arm into the air and then overhead reaching to the left and keep spiraling the heart toward the ceiling. Breathing. I haven't mentioned it yet on this side, but make sure that your right hip is grounding toward the chair as the right fingertips reach out. One more breath, please. And then with an inhale, go ahead and come all the way back up. Take a deep breath in and out. Sit up tall with an inhale. Exhale, hinge up the hips. Go ahead and fold forward and down. As far as you can comfortably. Inhale, sit all the way back up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale all the way up, waving in the spine here. Let's do a few more. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale. Inhale. Last one for now. Inhale, coming all the way back up and staying in a seat. All right, just a couple more exercises. Go ahead and bring the feet closer together. And we're gonna twist and hold now. So I think we did this one last week as well. You're gonna take your right hand across the outside of your left thigh or knee your left hand can come to the chair next to you, or if you have a back of your chair that's steady, you can hold on to the back of your chair, okay? Either one works. With your inhale, sit as tall as you can. And with your exhale, roll your left shoulder back. 
Now staying in the posture, sit up tall again. And exhale, have the intention of twisting a little bit deeper. You can pull with the right hand on the left thigh to help that along. You can feel the navel pull into the body and to the left as you exhale. You're looking behind you. Two more breaths, sitting up tall as you inhale, twisting deeper as you exhale. And then with an inhale, carefully, carefully, carefully unwind. Mm. Let's go the other way, all right? Take your left hand across the outside of your right thigh. Your right hand comes to the chair next to you or onto the back of your chair behind you, okay? Just sitting up as tall as you can. With your exhale, roll the right shoulder back, twist. Staying in the pose, sit up taller. Exhale, have the intention of twisting deeper. And just continue that practice, sitting up tall, Twisting deeper with your exhale. One more breath. Twisting to your furthest point, exhale. And then inhale carefully, gently, release back. Good. Sitting up tall. Roll your shoulders down your back. Open the heart toward the ceiling. Spinal flex. And we'll stay and breathe for about two or three rounds. Not too long. And then shrug your shoulders up to help the neck up. Coming back to a tall spine. And for our final posture before we sit and meditate a little bit is going to be the forward fold again. So there are two options again. Either have the feet and knees closer together to fold over them, or just have the knees a little wider than your shoulders to fold forward. Either one is fine. When you're ready, sit up tall. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Go ahead and fold over the legs or between the legs. Now your hands for this one can stay on the thighs or knees if you'd like. If it doesn't strain your back, you can allow the hands to hang toward the floor. Feel the chin drop in toward your throat. And let's take a few deep breaths. Two more breaths here. All right, so with your next inhale, carefully bring yourself back up. Mm. Feeling sensation. And go ahead and slide back in your chair and come to a comfortable seat for just a few minutes of going inward. Again, you can relax back if you'd like to, or you can keep a tall spine, whichever one feels most comfortable to you. Hands resting on the thighs, shoulders relaxed. The eyes are closed. And return your awareness to the movement of your breath in your abdomen. Inhale, feeling the navel expand away from the spine. And exhale, feeling the navel contract toward your spine. Now, over the course of the next few breaths, See if you can relax a little bit deeper and isolate the movement of your body to just the movement of the breath in the belly. 
At a certain point, the rib cage and chest barely move if they do at all. And a way to help facilitate this deep belly breathing is to relax any constriction or muscular tension that you might sense in and around the abdomen and pelvis. Inhale, the belly expanding. Exhale, the belly contracting. It's almost as if with each exhalation, you can relax another layer of tension in and around the abdomen. Maybe it's the sides of the body that soften. Maybe it's the muscles of the pelvic floor that relax. Maybe it's your lower back. And of course, maybe it's the front abdomen. Inhale, navel expanding away from the spine. Exhale, the navel relaxing toward the spine. And any thoughts and distractions that come into your awareness, just funnel all of that awareness down into this belly breath. a few more rounds, breathing to the abdomen, softening, softening tension. Right. So this belly breathing is a great technique to go to any time that you feel activated, stressed, anxious. But for now, we'll take a deeper, fuller breath. Mm. Bring your palms together in front of you and rub the palms together, creating heat. Take the heated palms over your eyes. Brushing back over the top of your head and down your neck, bringing yourself gently back to the space around you. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing in today's practice. I hope it was helpful for you. And I look forward to sharing with you again soon. Until then, take care. Thank you.